Hello, uh, I dug through this container. It had uh, one rhinoceros beetle larvae. In the past, I, uh, I moved all of them into their own containers, but I left this one in this big one. And I just kept finding more of them as I dug, dug through it. So I wouldn't be surprised if I found, if I found another one, actually, two in here right now if I kept digging. But. It was eating this. They're kind of small. Didn't feed them while they were at their second in star stage. I didn't give any their, any wood. They ate each other. One I saw was freshly eaten. <laughs> it's still living. Um, once uh, it was uh, it recently it was the one that recently molted to the third in star. It was a small one. Um, they, when they molt to a third in star, that's their last stage, that's a third in star right there. Uh, their head is big and their body is small. Then they get fatter. This one's a fat one. You see the head and the body. They're kind of aggressive. The ones in South Korea, the rhinoceros beetles there. There's only one species that are really common and big. They don't bite. They're not as aggressive as larvae. These are... Hercules, Eastern Hercules beetles. There. So it's a light bluish color. They turn yellowish as they get older and when they get close to pupating. So here's the carport. There's the rhinoceros beetle container I went through. Um, there's the dog, dog house. Oh, he's waking up. He doesn't hear, so it's not because I've been talking. <laughs> he probably smells me, I don't know. Okay, uh, there's a woodshed. Here's the inside of the shop. Uh, I have my roaches there. I'm trying to get rid of those. Uh, I have a few left, a few species. Um, and some here. Just empty containers there. I have to clean out. And there are rhinoceros beetles. These are the ones that I separated the rest of the rhinoceros beetle larvae. Around 17, I guess. I forgot. Uh, there's one out. I haven't fed them in a while. I haven't given them any uh, food or wood. White rotten wood is what I give them. Soft white wood. It smells sweet like fungus. Oh, wow. Um, there we go. I can't see. It's pretty much used up, the dirt. Oh, he's tight. Fat. It's a good sign, but still, he doesn't have any food. He, he's not dying. I'll have to do it. I'll have to put in some wood today. And, again, there's another. They eat a lot. When they had some termites in here. I wonder if they eat living worms and termites. I guess they are. Oh, um, so I haven't checked these in a while. These roaches, I just fed them. There's a Pycnocellus. They're eating some bread. They like bread. Roaches like bread and bananas. Most roaches, the ones I've had. There's a Turkish sandwich. Uh, here are some Aleriana. There's a type of wood roach. From the three females I called. They died early, the other females. Probably bad conditions that were in this container. It's, it's kind of dry, which is good. So they won't die of fungus. Oops, I can't see much here. They're underneath the... Okay. There's one. These are Aleriana. They're light colored. I wonder if they're first or second in star? I don't know. I think first in star. There's another two. There's Parker Blatta. Blatta, the wood, Broadwoods roaches, are, they're kind of boring. <laughs> they're all boring actually. Just, they reproduce really fast. And they're sensitive to the wet, wet substrate. Anyway. So here, two containers. 
these are like my only other roaches left. Uh, some fumigata and a trop a tropus. Oops, I forgot. I have some discoid roaches too. I don't know where I put ah yes, I put them in another that red container on the left. That's a male atropus. That's a fumigata. Oh, wait a minute, that's another atropus. There's a fumigata female. You can't really see this, it's a bad video. So they're eating bread. They purchase that roaches in there too. And here it is. Here are some species Cuba, but a different species from the Fumigata, lighter colored. I have a lot of variation. And here are the discoid roaches. I don't know if these are pure, of course. I got them from a friend. <laughs> More discoid roaches. And here is a species of Cuba. Uh, male with the wing buds. Females don't have that. So. The shop is really big. I have some aquariums and stuff. That There's another room in there. It's dark. Windows. Far south side. Okay. So this place is amazing. The person who lived here was a contractor, they said. People who had come here just commented to them, saying that the person who built this new stuff. Or... Turn on the light. He's a woodworker, I guess. Um, no friend but he came here yesterday. Um, this is the garage. Here are some of the mechanics. Most of them are LFS. I was surprised yesterday when I came here. There, most of them were pupate, uh, already pupas. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I shouldn't really bother them so much, but. There we go. Um, is this a female? It's kind of large. I think this is a female. And there are several more. Most of them, I just left them alone and they did all right. It's nice. But they're so tough. This one doesn't, oh, there's another, yeah, this one's pupated too. Oh, yeah, you can't really see in the video. I have to pick one out that you can see. They're actually big. The males there, none of them are tiny or minor males. The ones that pupated, there are uh, two, one or two that haven't pupated at least two or three. Um, anyway, bad video. You can't, oh, it's terrible. So, anyway. Bye. Oh, camel crickets. In our house in the basement, they, they're camel crickets, and here there are a ton of them. <laughs> uh, I love them.